Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. Today we have a 2004 BMW 735 Li. It's the long wheelbase and this car is in very good condition. It's got the original BMW alloy wheels and it's got a very nice set of Pirelli tyres. It's certainly good to see that it's got the original wheels because unfortunately over the years um, some people put big chrome wheels on them and, and other wheels and it puts a lot of unnecessary strain on all the suspension components. Personally I always like to see cars original as well. Looking inside, standard features included navigation. This car's done 137,000 kilometres since it was new. It says the average fuel consumption is about 14.8 litres per 100 k's, which is pretty impressive around town. Let's turn the radio down. So you've got your navigation. You can actually have the navigation screen on the right, or you can have a full screen navigation. It's even got this old style phone system where you can put a SIM card in here. Um, years ago I used to drive one and what I did was I put a SIM card in the car and if I went on a trip I used to divert my mobile to the SIM to the phone number in the car. You can even press this button, you can dial from here. It certainly looks very nice. This car also has a very good service history to it. It's predominantly been at BMW and it looks like this car is from the North Shore where it's been most of its life. It's a long wheelbase, as you can see. It's got very low kilometres for a long wheelbase, as most of these have been bought up over the years and used as hire cars or Uber cars. This car is not, it's just been privately owned and it's in particularly good condition. Look at that nice, big, beautiful back door. For me, there's always something very special about long wheelbase cars, whether it's a 7 Series or an S-Class. These are one of my favourite alloy wheels on this model. They're not too big, they're not too small, and they've got a nice amount of spokes. Looking at the number plates, they look like they could have been the original plates from when it was new. I press this button, it's got an electric boot. Another good thing with BMW, this is before the days of run flats, it's got a full size spare and it doesn't look like it's ever been on the car, it's in immaculate condition. It's got all the tools up in here as well, just click that button. They're also very reliable. Surprisingly, we've probably spent less money on these BMW 7 series where it's a 735 four five or seven fifty we've spent less money on these cars over the years when we've bought them and sold them um, than we have on, a, on on three series and even five series which is remarkable i think that these cars were built very new uh, very well from factory they were the top of the range they are a seven series whereas the three series you know especially the four cylinder models just didn't get that that level of uh, engineering it would seem. Here's the logbook and then I just didn't put in the time and effort into those cars. Admittedly this this would have cost three or four times the price when it was new yet second hand there's not really all that big a difference. So you can see it's been serviced by BMW predominantly and the last couple of services have been on been at specialists. The last one was at up at Kalara on the North Shore there but it's a beautiful colour combination. Metallic blue, light grey leather interior. It's absolutely stunning with the original wheel. I mean, for me personally, I even like the original lights. The original light has this orange indicator at the top and there was an option back then to get clear indicators. I think this blue colour with light grey leather interior with these wheels with the original lights just looks fantastic because you've got a nice contrast between the blue and the yellow and the clear, etc. It's a very nice indeed. And we, we do see a lot of these 7 Series, but they've got to be good for us to sell. Unfortunately, a lot of them have well over 200 or even 300,000 kilometres. If you're looking on the net, 
and you're looking by a year in kilometres, I'd actually suggest maybe taking off, you know, highest kilometres up to 150,000 k's and have a look. I think you'll be surprised. You'll see cars with 300, 400,000 kilometres. So this car has got a very long life ahead of it if it's looked after. So I'd suggest getting it to your mechanic every 6 or 12 months for a basic service and it should be absolutely fine. I've driven the car, it drives beautifully. The gearbox is nice and smooth. I gave it a good drive. Even if you're at speed and you slow down to a stop, it goes back through the gears beautifully. Well, thank you very much for watching our video today. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville in Sydney, and we certainly do look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching.